Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with a Freeze Friday um, layout share and spending report. Uh, spending wise, uh, zero spend again. Um, I did a lot of um, uh, combing through uh, different areas in the craft room looking for embellishments to try to kind of consolidate them and that has yielded <laughs> lots of um, Lots of things that I uh, that I had forgotten I I owned, so that's always wonderful. I'm just going to quickly go through these. Most of these have videos, and um, I, but I don't think this one does. Uh, this was just a quickie to use this uh, Sarah Scraps uh, custom sketch as a um, rediscover your stash uh, challenge. And I, I kind of used um, some, uh, what do I want to say, uh, translucent paints that I got from Tuesday morning, you know, years ago. And I just kind of combed through to try to see. And I, I applied with a credit card, and then I used a fan brush to kind of do this this uh, feathering on the end. Nothing exotic there. The rest is Vicky Booten papers. Uh, these are die cut from the uh, ombre um, part of this paper, and this is the reverse of that paper. Old um, alphas, b both of them. Uh, and this was, I I'd taken this sunset or sunrise picture on the 6th of January, having no idea. Uh, it was a beautiful start to what turned into an incredibly uh, ugly day. Um, it was intend, I thought it was the start of the day when John would be transferred from the hospital to the uh, nursing home. And <clears throat> it, it didn't happen that day. It didn't happen actually until Friday the 8th. But um, lots of other ugly things happened on, uh, on the 6th. So we'll change the subject from there. This is a um, a lift just for fun of um, Morag Cuts, who did it for the Hey Little Magpie creative team. I absolutely loved this layout. I liked the bag with the little flap kind of overlapping the photos, um, the banner through the middle, the, the little doily there, the tag, the, the twine kind of winding through. Just loved it. So I, uh, I did, um, I did this one using the Mind the Scrap, uh, December kit. And I made a Thanksgiving page with a Christmas kit, basically, using lots of fall perspectives. Let's see, there's the fox there, and this leaf here, the little raccoon is just so adorable, and the leaf sprig here, or the bud sprig, and of course the title, Awesome Memories uh, title. And this actually set, the, it, I wanted to use this, and it gave me the idea to use the teal background paper. And I used some flair that I think we got in a Creative Cuts uh, kit. Um, Everything else, I think, is from the Mind the Scrap December kit. I, I actually, except the bag, I, I punched out those little um, uh, banner pieces from the bag. So I love this. It's one of my favorites. And I love the photo of Ava with our inflatable turkey. Okay, so now I'm going to start going quicker because I think I made videos on all the rest of these. This one is still awaiting photos. There are lots of perspectives on this one too. Uh, fussy cut elements from the um, December Mind the Scrap Kit and I uh, used my uh, punch, my greenery punch for that. Um, <laughs> this one is 
was fun. This was the original, and I could see that there was um, like an envelope holder for this top photo. And my photos were all printed in a strip, so I used the the envelope idea for the outside. And I was doing this for a, um, uh, a spending freeze challenge at Rediscover Your Stash by Liz Longus Designs. And <clears throat> I've, um, so I used the color purple. Her challenge was to the color purple. And the take time out was, was a COVID reference when, um, when Bramble Fox put them out, but I used it as a reference to taking time out when, when your babies are babies so that you can enjoy silly little moments like this because soon they get, um, they get older and get a gaming platform and you never ever see them out of their room again because they have imaginary friends that they game with now. Ava, are you listening? So this one is another uh, lift. It's a Scrap Squad lift. And I did a, um, a cover page for my 2021 album. And because these days, um, it, John and, and where he is and how he's doing and when he's coming home, pretty much all I think about. I used a little earring that's a, a, a penguin. John loves penguins. And so I said, 2021, be amazing. Let John come home. Let him walk again someday soon. Um, this one is also a Scrap Squad lift with the narrow photo, the narrow strip, the title on the side, the frames kind of coming off and the printed background paper. Just loved it. So I actually used the flip side of that page, which I dearly love. Did some um, distress oxides there and just have a kind of a, a photo of Barrett walking towards um, the park. And just kind of, I, I, I love the page. It's minimalist for me, which is probably what I like about it. This one is one for Craft Plus. Um, talking about a broken wine glass, nothing, and using some uh, vintage uh, basic gray um, embellishments that I got for my birthday from my grandkids. And this was the original there. I turned it on its side, and it's done for the She's Crafty uh, mini paper pad class. And there, 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 everything on here is from a six, except the background, from a six by six paper pad. Okay, here's another one for Craft Plus that just went live this morning. Um, it's a, a line of, of three, uh, of the same photo filtered a couple different ways of grandpa walking into the Y um, with the girls. And I use the uh, vintage Coke color scheme. You can see in both of these, they're reds and yellows, but this one has a little more white popping off of that craft background. And this cut file is from Creative Cuts Club. This is the original and I love the lace there and was able to do that because mine, the Scrap December kit, had some lace in it. This is probably one of my favorite pages ever. Um, the original is a Laura Whitaker sketch and it was featured in Sarah Scrap series called Laura Sketches Reimagined. And um, it, I, I was taken by this heart background behind the photo cluster. And so I cut out a heart out of cardstock and stamped uh, over the opening part of it, punched a, or a die cut a couple of stars, fussy cut a couple others, used a, um, a Valentine's Day perspective from Bramble Fox and some Paige Evans um, letters and some tags just cut from scraps that I had, and that's a scrap die cut using a Bramble Fox die. And it uses an old photo that, that has a color filter on it. And this one is the last one I did uh, yesterday. 
It is my catch-up. This was the December 11th Mixed Media Frenzy layout that was posted. And I love that um, Coco Vanilla Daydream collection that they used here. And so I used the same collection for a series of photos kind of describing our new normal, or, you know, which was uh, seeing John through the window and at the dialysis center. So I used most, well, all uh, distress oxides there. And I have some tangled thread and some, you know, stuff. But I, uh, <laughs> I love that page and I can't wait for things to change. <laughs> so happy to, uh, to, to be there. So I'm going to take the black one that has, uh, that's waiting for photos and to put it with this one, which is also waiting for photos. And you've seen that one, uh, probably a couple months ago. I had started on a project with John where we were going through his, um, mother's, uh, albums of his childhood. And so I was going to kind of test him to tell me some stories that go with some of the photos that are there. And I was going to start scrapping those. And that was my first page. And he hadn't settled on the photo or written the story yet. So we'll work on that when he gets home. And my next up is, I think I'm going to try to do this one. Uh, which is, I'm going to watch the, um, the lesson that goes with this. This is sketch number two, the January 10th sketch from um, She's Crafty mini paper pad class um, presented by my friend and cohort, uh, Shannon Allor. And the three photos that I think I'm going to use are these three different uh, edits. This is the original taken in um, portrait mode of the the champagne flutes that are in that set of wine glasses that I broke one of the other sizes of. And I ran it through a filter several years ago to get this version, and I ran it through a different filter to get this version, so I'll, I'll use those somehow. And then this is, um, I've got an idea to do a on a um, page called uh, Dreaming of a Margaritaville Christmas. <laughs> and so instead of Christmas trees, I'm going to use um, palm trees and kind of overlay them on the photo and so forth. So my next projects. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.